Yes guys, I'm Sai. Welcome to Cardiff City World and this is a very special video in many ways because tonight I and all the team are at Splot Cons Club for the City Legends event with Joe Ledley and I'm sure we're having an absolute scream. However, did not want to leave you guys who couldn't make it with, uh, without any content and uh, a bit of an interesting one today is the, the Breakdown Extra where we like to break stuff down as you might be very surprised to know and what I wanted to talk about a little bit today is is why Cardiff City is so keen on Kiefer Moore why is Desiree Bullet like him so much why do the club keep going back every transfer window and getting involved in the same saga as will he won't he will he won't he let's let's look at why um so Kiefer Moore look in fact let's call him by his full name Keith. Kiefer Roberto Francisco Moore, born August 8th, 1992. He's 31 years old, Welsh international, very, very experienced footballer. He could also play centre back if you didn't know that. Um, but there you are, little fact for you. Look, we, we kind of all know, like, you know, he's effective and he, he plays a certain role, and there's no doubt. I think what you have to look at, though, is, is what the way Cardiff City are looking to play under Errol Bullet. Errol Bullet is looking to play a possession-based game, playing out from the back with a double pivot in front of a defence, which is a defensive midfielder and then a more progressive number eight alongside him, who does a bit of defensive work. It's very solid out of possession, but then looks to link up with the centre-forward, the number 10, the wingers, and kind of progress play through the thirds, through the lines, and get the team playing and this is where Kiefer Moore I think comes into play and why they specifically are looking at him or at least the the profile of player that he has and I think one of the things that goes in his favour is he knows the club he's experienced he's Welsh etc but Kiefer Moore in terms of a profile is invaluable to a side that's playing possession based football whether it be in a 4-3-3 a 4-2-3-1 there's a couple of re like a couple of main reasons why i think his kind of profile is so invaluable and so important to that setup and something that we deeply missed last year where we didn't have a striker who could do the things that this type of player can do um, and certainly didn't have the attributes and the skill set that Kiefer Moore brings. And I think sometimes where Cardiff fans get frustrated because it didn't work out and he didn't come and he left and all this sort of stuff, they kind of forget how effective he is and how good he's been both at Cardiff and at Wales and at, and at other clubs as well. Um, so first and for, foremost, he can be the out ball. Like if the defence is under pressure from a press or they need to just sort of clear it, he can be that long, direct out ball and he can hold it up really well, win a free kick, allow teammates to catch up and, and play off him. That's a really underrated skill and something that we definitely did not have last year. Something, someone that you can play the ball into when the press gets a bit heavy and you've got nowhere to go. Someone who you could nail it up to them at their chest, their waist, their, their feet, and they can just hold it. They can hold the defender off, they can hold the, the ball and they can win a free kick or they can link up with the players who are then going. Um, and secondly, I think, which is a massive part, is is the kind of number nine that Kiefer Moore is. Um, he's, he shifts centre-backs out of position and takes them into waters that they do not want to go in. Centre-backs, they would love, and this is why centre-backs just love to stay in shape, stay in a line with their full-backs, move up and down and across, and, and they love it. Life's easy game. They don't like going in behind and they don't like being pulled out of position. And what Kiefer Moore does exceptionally well is if you get the correct players around him, he can cause mayhem. And those players have to be switched on to utilise the space that Kiefer Moore creates. So whether that be the number 10 looking to run beyond him and take the ball off him on the run or a flick on or... You know, or, or have it back off his feet and link up that way and then they can spread it out wide. Or that can be the winger running in behind into the space where the centre-back's gone with Kiefer Moore. He's created that space and then you need one of your wingers to run in behind 
and really get in behind the defence because you're taking the defender into places he doesn't want to be and it's vital. And when you look at the options we had up front last year, Mete, um, Atete, um, who else was there? Mete, Atete, um, Jeju, all particularly poor, but also like all right, Mete, decent, decent link up play, but doesn't doesn't really stretch the defence in behind, doesn't doesn't force them to follow him in to drop deep. He just kind of is just there. He can hold the ball up. He can link up play. But his movement is nowhere near on the level of someone like Keeper Moore. So I think that initial understanding of what he brings can help us understand why Errol Bullet and why Cardiff kind of City have gone back in for him a couple of times now since he's left for that long move. Um, I want to sort of obviously talk about him just generally like he's a he's six foot four he's a target man his link up play is exceptional he's athletic he's pretty quick for a big guy as well um his hold up play is exceptional wins a lot of free kicks he does get penalized a little bit on the free kick front um there's not much you could do he does win free kicks though uh he drops deep to link up play really really uh can bring the wide players in and i think that's something which goes really unnoticed at wales when Daniel James and Kiefer Moore played together, Daniel James, the amount of times he gets in work one on one with the keeper because of Kiefer Moore's movement and link up play, um, and then an added bonus of his uh, defending set pieces. That extra height never goes amiss. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some different things. So in position, in possession, Kiefer Moore, what does he offer? Well. Kiefer Moore's finishing in the 18-yard box specifically is very, very good. He's pretty clinical for a, for a target man. Target men, generally speaking, are not prolific goal scorers, generally speaking, um, are not prolific goal scorers. But actually, if you look at his stats and his, his movement inside the 18-yard box, his, uh, his finishing is, is really, really clinical, really good, excellent. Um, his positioning is also pretty Pretty exceptional, I've got to say, um, in terms of when we have the ball, he'll drop in deep, he'll drop into those little pockets between the full-back and the centre-back and really either bring the centre-back deep into the midfield, sort of that number 10 area where you create the space behind, or he'll pull him right out towards the full-back. And then it's not just that centre-back which has got to go with him. The other centre-back has to make a choice then. Does he go with him to keep the centre-back pairing together? Does he kind of hold his position depending on where the ball is? And it can cause a lot of problems if the players around him are switched on and they're utilising the space created. He's also very clever at getting a run on defenders from crosses. So I've talked a lot about the need for Cardiff City this year to have traditional wingers who beat their man and put crosses in. We want wingers who create chances for the strikers, the midfield, whoever it may be not just cut in, try and shoot for themselves, go for the glory. I want to see creative wingers because I think that's the best way to utilise the way that Errol Bullock wants to play with this team. Now, Kiefer Moore is very, very clever at peeling off his defender when the, when the crosses come in. And what you'll see him do a lot is, out of the two centre-backs, he will peel towards the sort of weaker one in the air the shorter one or the less strong one and he'll he does that a lot um, and also his movement off the ball when you know when our team has the ball so if we're you know if our winger or fullback has got it out wide he won't just stand still he'll be attacking the near post attacking the far post he will still be trying to move his defenders around he'll be yeah, his movement in the air and, you know, when the fullbacks have got it, he'll peel away and he will often you know, look for the weaker centre-backs, as I say, and he'll try and target that. But also, his ability to receive the ball to feet and chest and being press resistant. Like, I can't, I can't emphasise how important it is to have players in a possession-based football side um, like Errol Bull that wants to play. How important it is to have press resistant footballers like there's no use having players whereby if i've got a ball and i give it to you 
that's fine. But if I if I've got the ball and you've got a man really tight on you or a couple of men on you, can you still receive it in that tight place, tight space? Or or if you can't, and I'm gonna look elsewhere, and I got to go backwards, and I got to go like it's massive. Kiefer Moore is press resistant. Kiefer Moore will receive that ball to feet, to chest, to head when he's got a centre back grabbing his neck and pulling his shirt and all the rest of it. Exceptional under pressure physically. We'll still be able to lay the ball off. We'll still be able to win a free kick. We'll still be able to get a flick on. We'll still be able to control the football. That is a vital tool for the way kind of City want to play, for having an out ball and also just because having Ruben Corwells and Ramsey's to link up of, having creative wingers, a number eight who's a bit dynamic and wants to feed the ball into the striker and then receive it back. You need a, a, a target man or a striker who's who's physically strong and can drop into those pockets of space for that, this type of, of, of profile of, of striker. And Keith Moore is uh, pretty good, as good as you're going to get in terms of championship footballers for that type of press resistance. And the ability to to peel in between the full backs and the centre backs, I think, as I said, is, is 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 it is invaluable. And one of the things, the press resistance for me is is probably one of, if not the most vital aspect of why I think Kiefer Moore is such an important tool to what Cardiff City want to achieve. He went into Ipswich and scored what was it, six goals. Um, in from January, like that was massive for the way they had a little bit of a stutter. Um, Ipswich did, and he went in there and literally settled them down, scored a few goals, hit the ground running. Like that was massive for, for Ipswich going up. Um, and by all accounts, his, his link up play with his teammates and, and everything was huge. His experience, he scored actually seven goals in 18 appearances with one assist and hit the ground running massively for them um, and got them over the line when they they were kind of struggling you know um, and of course his, his first goal back was against no it wasn't I thought it was against Cardiff um, it wasn't it was he scored two against Preston in the, in the 3rd of February um, look in my opinion I understand why people don't want to keep more they're not sure or they just don't want to go through the saga again in my opinion Kiefer Moore as a, as a player, the profile, the age, the experience, the abilities. Because one thing I don't know if I mentioned was like Kiefer Moore's ability with the ball at his feet. Like a lot of times, you'll find that target men are not prolific goal scorers. Like he's got a really good scoring record, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But he's, his ability to to have the ball at his feet, he's quite quick for a big man. Like a lot of those attributes really would be the missing part. To the way Cardiff City are looking to play under Errol Bullet. Now, I understand all the people who say don't get him, he's messed us about, he left, blah blah blah. In my opinion, there's not many centre uh, forwards who will come play in the championship for us with the money we've got to spend and the budget and the wages, etc., who have the, the skill set, the ability, the attributes, and the experience that Kiefer Moore has. Yes, he's the almost like the perfect fit for the system that we want if we get the right players around him. However, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We should ask the question. If he says yes, the next question is, well, can we make it work with the club? If the question, if the answer is yes, then we get it done and we get it done quickly. If he's not sure, he wants to weigh up his options, which he's perfectly entitled to do, of course he is, then... Just move on. Say thank you. We're going to look elsewhere. It's got to be a quick... No one wants to have this saga on deadline day again. Is Keith Moore going to come to Cardiff? Is he not? Like, no one wants that. I don't want those texts again. I can't, can't be bothered with it, to be quite frank. So let, let us just ask the question. If we can make it happen, great. Because I think it is... not the, I don't want to say the perfect sign-in because he's not, you know, he's not a Messi or Ronaldo or someone like this. But... In terms of what we need, he's a real good option. He's a real, real good option. Um, and just to kind of like weigh it up in you know stats for those for those of you who like stats and 
all the rest of it. Let's just have a little look at his championship record. His championship record overall, 173 games, uh, 54 goals, 15 assists. For Cardiff City, he made 66 appearances, scoring 25 goals, um, which averages just just over um, two and a bit games, a goal every two and a bit games. Now, to me, that's fine for a, for a target man striker. Now, target men, and, and they're not going to be, prolific. you know, he's not going to score 30 goals. Then that's just because that's not his role in the side. Um, but I think his role in the side is exactly what the side needs if we get a, the right number eight and if we get creative wingers and then Ramsey and, and Colwell behind. I think it can work really well, but we don't want the saga. Um, guys, really, really interested in what you guys think about Keith Moore because I know it's a very mixed bag. I know some people want him, some people don't. Some people don't want him because of the way he left and his attitude. Some people don't want him because he went to Ipswich. But I'm I'm interested in what you think. Of course, I want to know if you want him. But I also want to know if, you know, like, as a footballer and his skill set, like, do you want him? But you just don't want him because you don't want to go through it all again. I understand that. Um, it's been a pleasure, as always. This was the Breakdown Extra. Please do make sure you're subscribed to Cardiff City World. Please do make sure you're following Cardiff City World on Facebook and Twitter. Ace Podcast Nation on everything else and everything. Please do check out some of the stuff we do on Ace Podcast Nation, of course, as well. We've got a podcast with uh, former Wales international Peter Nicholas coming out soon. Rodri Giggs on football every week um, on Cardiff City World. It's Cardiff City content seven days a week. Obviously, as the Euros comes to a close now, it's really going to hot up. Um, we're going to have transfer rumours. We're going to have scout reports we're gonna have all sorts of stuff pre-season games vlogs all of it it's by fans for fans it's all kind of city it's a voice for the fans a voice to to give your opinion on our football club hoping to get uh, some ex-players current players whatever it may be uh but some interviews and, and stuff as well i appreciate you all thank you very much for your time um and if i saw you tonight at the joe ledley event thank you very much for coming hope you had a great night in a bit Oh, 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 oh,